Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this frame using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the frame one time. In this frame, we have three different parts. In the span AB, we have a uniformly distributed load 9 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the span BC, there is a point load 24 kN acting at a distance of 3 meter from the point B. In the vertical member BD, we have a point load 10 kN. It is acting in the center. Length of AB is 4 meter. Length of BC is 5 meter. Length of CD is 4 meter. The moment of inertia for AB is 3i. The moment of inertia for BC is 2i. The moment of inertia for BD is I. This frame is a non-sway type frame because the fixed support in the point A will not allow any horizontal displacement. In the slope deflection method, we have to find the kinematic indeterminacy. For that, we have to check the supports and the joints. In this frame, there are two fixed supports in the point D and in the point A, we have fixed supports. In these supports, there will be no deflection and slope. Point B is a joint. In this joint, there will be slope that is theta B. In the point C, there is a hinged support. If there is hinged support, there will be no deflection, but there will be slope. So, in the point C, we have theta C. In this analysis, we have to find these two unknowns. To find out these two unknowns, we need two equilibrium equations. One equation can be made in the joint B. In the joint B, we have three moments. MBA, MBC and MBD. When we add these three moments, it will be zero. In the point C, we have a hinged support. So the point C is a simply supported end. In the simply supported end, there will be no moment. So the moment in the point C, MCB will be zero. To find these two unknowns, we needed two equilibrium equations and we have made them. Now let us find the fixed end moments. First let us find them in the span AB. In the span AB there is a UDL 9 kN per meter. This UDL is acting for the whole span. The formulas for finding the fixed end moments are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. After applying the values inside the formulas, we are getting MFAB and MFBA. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC, we have a eccentric point load 24 kN. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WAB square upon L square and positive WA square B upon L square. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now let us find the fixed end moments in the column BD. Here there is a point load 10 kN. This point load is acting in the center. The formulas to find the fixed end moments are minus WL upon 8 and positive WL upon 8. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of BD and M of DB. Now let us make the slope deflection equations. 
first let us make them in the span a b in the equations let us apply the fixed end moments the moment of inertia for the span a b is 3i so instead of i we have to apply 3i length of a b is 4 meter let us apply that in the point a there is a fixed support in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta a will be zero finally in the span a b we are making two equations now let us make the slope deflection equations in the span bc first let us apply the fixed end moments the moment of inertia for bc is 2i so instead of i we have to apply 2i length of bc is 5 meter let us apply that in this equation we can make the first equilibrium equation we know that in the point c there will be no moment so instead of mcb we can apply zero then let us take 17.28 on the left side so it will become negative this is our first equilibrium equation now let us make the slope deflection equations in the column span bd in the equations first let us apply the fixed end moments length of bd is 4 meter let us apply that in the point d there is a fixed support in the fixed support there will be no slope so theta d will be zero finally in the span bd we are making two equations we have made one equilibrium equation but we need one more we know that the second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint b in the joint b there are three movements mba mbc and mbd when we add these three we will get zero we have already made the slope deflection equations for mba mbc and mbd let us add three of them let us keep ea theta b and ea theta c on the left side and take the numerical value on the right side let us keep this equation as the number 7 we have made two equilibrium equations the fourth one and seventh one now we can use the calculator and solve these two equations if you do not know how to solve two equations in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator and found ea theta b and ea theta c when we apply the value of ea theta b in the equation number one we are getting mab when we apply the value of ea theta b in the equation number two we are getting MBA. When we apply the values of Ea theta b and Ea theta c in the equation number 3, we are getting MBC. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 5, we are getting MBD. When we apply the value of Ea theta b in the equation number 6, we are getting MTB. So, in this analysis, we have got all of the movements. For MAB, we got a negative value, that means MAB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MBA, we got a positive value, that means it is acting in the clockwise direction. For MBC, we got a negative value, that means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. We know that MCB is 0. For MBD, we got a negative value. That means it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. For MDB, we got a positive value. That means it is acting in the clockwise direction. Now, we are going to find the reactions. 
First, let us take the span AB and find out the reactions. In the span AB, there are two moments, MAB which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction and MBA which is acting in the clockwise direction. In this span, first I am going to find out RA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anti-clockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 4 meter. So for RA, the UDL is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be negative. When the UDL comes, we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Then we have two moments. The 8.2 moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. The 19.59 moment is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. Finally, for RA, we are getting 15.15 kN. Then we can apply the rule sigma v is 0 and find out RB1. Now let us take the span BC and find out the reactions. In the span BC, there is only one moment that is MBC which is acting in the anticlockwise direction. In this span, first I am going to find out RB2. For that, I am going to take moment about C. RB2 is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 5 meter. So 5 RB2. The point load 24 kN is acting towards the point C in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative and the distance is 2 meter. Then we have a moment which is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. After the calculations, we are getting RB2. By applying the rule, sigma v is 0, we are getting RC. We have calculated the vertical reaction in the point B two times. To find out RB, we have to add RB1 and RB2. After adding, we are getting RB, which is equal to 33.89 kN. Now let us take the column BD and find out the reactions. In BD there are two moments MBD which is acting in the anticlockwise direction and MDB which is acting in the clockwise direction. In this span first I am going to find out HB. For that I am going to take moment about D. HP is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 4 meter. So for HB, the 10 kN point load is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and the distance is 2 meter. This moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative and this moment is acting in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive. Finally, we are getting HB. By applying the rule, sigma H is 0, we can find out HD. Now, let us make the shear force diagram in the spans AB and BC. We have to make this diagram using the vertical loads and the reactions. Now, let us make the shear force diagram. In the column BD, using the horizontal load and the reactions, we have to make this diagram. Now, we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. First, let us make the free moment diagram. For the free moment diagram, we have to assume every span as a separate simply supported beam. Using these formulas, we can find out these moments and draw this diagram. Now let us make the end moment diagram. 
using these movements we can make this diagram for making this diagram we have to see the direction of the arrows and draw now let us combine the free movement diagram and the end movement diagram so that we will get the bending movement diagram now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video